Greetings, welcome back to the outer world. I don't care, I cannot solve it anyway. Let's go back to Scylla again. God damn it. I've just get out of there. Got out of there. Thanks. Yeah, give me a second. Why are we all here? Parvati? Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. Oh, we want to... Uh, what do you need? I was thinking about what you said before. After we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and... And ask Junlei to go steady straight out. Okay. And I'm thinking of doing it here. On the ship. Uh, that's sweet, I guess. I need offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease, and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days, and well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping we could stop the groundbreaker. Okay, sure. <laughs> Well, where are you thinking exactly? Older lady in the rest and go, Miss Gladys. Sure. Seem to know lots of things. Maybe she knows where to find fancy soap. Mm, okay. I mean, only if you're not busy, or when you're heading for Groundbreaker for something else. Sure. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. I won't. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know, because I wanna come with. Sure, okay. Next time we're on Groundbreaker, we're taking her with us. Do you wanna talk? Hey, Cap. You're getting along with the crew? Parvati showed me how to properly grease the magazine release on one of my firearms. She's a smart one, you know. Yeah, I know. Opal was quiet in the same way. She'd hang back, out of sight, then all of a sudden pop in with a bit of wisdom out of nowhere. Shit. Look at me dredging up bygone days. Forget I said anything. I'm not pushy. I will. Okay, and Max already ran away, so we'll talk to Felix again. God damn it. Hey boss, got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend, see? Yeah. Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. <laughs> then one day they up and vanished. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the aether. What's going through your head? Uh Shocked and disbelieved, seeing how most of my friends are still on Earth. No, are you going somewhere with this? Really? I know this name. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I heard that name somewhere. Heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. Where is he? Okay, let's go. Figured I should let you know, seeing as we're on Scylla and all. Clyde's got a base on the other side of this rock. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. You will thank me later. Okay, who was I supposed to take here? Anyoka and Felix. Okay. Okay, those are the three and the fourth one? Where is it? I thought I can teleport there? Tired of his landing pod and said so have a chat with him. Where is he then? Maybe it's... No, I should be able to teleport to the other landing pad then. Yeah, friendship studio is somewhere here. Okay, give me a second, I'll check this. Where is that? Oh yeah, I really have to use the other. Okay, never mind, never mind, let's... We'll go here. Oh no, I know which one that means. The super angry, super strong prime nose. Okay, give me a second then, and I'll give Nayoka something new. Okay, let's go straight for that one, and I'll equip my um, my sniper rifle. Thank you. F 
hopefully it will work well on that mega primal as well. Oh hell. It doesn't. Oh my god, okay. Change! Thank you, Felix. Where is it? Get it! Okay. He's done. Cool. Cool. But it wasn't that that we were looking for. Oh, and I can track this place now. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, of course I'm gonna take your stuff as well. Oh, it's somewhere there. Another Mega Primal? Per Pungent Primal Behemoth. Behemoth. This big one. I think it's even worse. Might be. Uh, that one didn't seem like that. Let's kill him! Okay, I think he's dead. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, there's that. Now let's teleport somewhere. Yeah, here. And now... I see the robot over there. I forgot that I'm supposed to hit the blue thingy. He's not dead? No, it is. Really? Oh, they're both dead. Now they should be okay. Oh, we have some more primals left to kill. And I think I'm gonna loot this place as well. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Thanks. Me done. No, I don't really need it. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Is that all? I think so. Thank you. Can I get... Yeah, I think I can go like this. <gasps> There's a cave! Oh, I hit you straight in the head! Where is it? Okay, it's somewhere there. There's another one. Okay. I really wanna explore that cave. It's glowing. It's pretty. I'm sure there's n there won we won't find anything here that's gonna kill us. See, they're the cute. There are the cute ones. <gasps> Hello. Salutations. This unit's primary function is excavator. Owner, the Festus Mining Corporation. Other functions include dialogue, limited current active commands, excavation. That is all. This place is abandoned. I think you can stop. Negative. The presence or absence of human operators does not impact this unit assigned directive. Okay. Achieves perfection by fulfilling its directive. This unit sounds like my old foreman. You know, it's a crying shame that auto mechanicals can't get drunk. Seriously. This what? Thing needs both. This unit has now exhausted 
its available library of opinions about excavation. What are you excavating? It is removing rock matter in search of minerals, metals, and other forms of matter designated valuable. Mm hmm, so a prospector. Identified. Affirmative. This unit could discuss excavation at greater length, but does not wish to strain its daily charge. Thank oh. you for your consumer loyalty, Junior Excavator. This unit will store this exchange in its memory banks. Oh. Always. You're so cute. Oh, give me that. And give me that. Hmm? Is that something? No. It looked like explosive charge. Okay, never mind. Let's go kill the last primal. We'll be done with that part. Then we'll I will go I'll teleport ourselves on the unreliable. Ooh. And then we'll go to hmm. See Felix's friend, which I think is a trap. Oh, okay, nice. Oh no, I really hate when you do that. Okay, one's done. Oh no, no, no. Oh, he's dead. Oh, there's some more treasure cases. I think it's green again. I don't know whether that matters or not. I guess not. Okay, let's go back to the unreliable. Okay, I changed our landing pad as well. Let's get out of here. Thank you! Now, uh, that's not the right one, this one. I, I'm sure I've heard this name before. Volker? Who the hell are you? Hey you, looking for something? For someone. Think you're going? Uh, for you, if push me. <laughs> hey, nice <laughs> Good delivery too. Thank you. You're looking to join Captain Harlow's crew, huh? No. All right, go on through. Thanks. Got my sights on you. Sure, sure. Can say that I can. God damn it! Where's the way in? Okay, for here. And he is somewhere there. Ooh, nice. Give me those. I need some. God damn it. Some parts to repair. Ooh, nice. Logs. Um, okay. Now we begin to wonder about our patron. Last entry. Pirate Co. How's the boss? Fuck the board. Hmm. That's pretty much everything I need to know. Oh, hello. Yo, Marlo. Really? I said so cute. This is the first time I get to see you so close up. Well, hey. hey there, Screw you. Groundbreaker at long last. Uh huh. Oh, sorry. Were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man. Well, I'll just let you to work this out. I you were dead. Or throwing yourself against the walls of some re-education center. That's been five years, Clyde. The best thing you can say is, hey there, Hallhead. No, Felix. The best thing I can say to you is yet to come. Also, I'd like to have a word with your captain. So, you took Felix under your wing. Yeah. Busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. He kicks things what need kicking. And we look the other way when he starts talking anti-corporate. It's a good arrangement. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. 
so long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. Mm, tell me why you are here. I'm working on something. Something big. I hate you already. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Uh, does Flynn want to Easy there, Clyde. No be the part of it? Going in, with you. in case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. You really want to put him through a test? Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. Okay, what did he do? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. There's more to this than you're letting on. Yeah. Get his side of the story first. Yeah. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. Hmm. How? Sorry, how well do you know Felix, really? Well it's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I had to deal with? Hmm, okay. You said you were working on something big. Revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. It sounds like you've got some plan to overthrow the board. Hmm. No, so you're having a so you're a band of outlaws living on the on the edge of an asteroid. Yeah, that's some revolution for sure. Mm -hmm. Bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to live according to one's own means, independent of any masters. So you do nothing. One day, when the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, we may claim a piece of this system for ourselves. Until then, we bide our time. <sighs> okay, that's all I do. I really don't want to talk to him. It's just to. Uh... Annoying. Yeah, let's get back to the unreliable. I don't really want to go all the way again. I know it's not been far, but I'm lazy, okay? And let's go back. To all crew there is only one toilet on the really? Oh, good to know. Let's see, we have two quests, yeah, on front breaker, so let's go there. We've arrived at the ground breaker. Thank you, Ada. Okay, so we're going with Felix and Parvati, you're staying. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's pretty far. Well, let's do the Felix quest first and then we'll worry about Parvati. I actually think it's closer than Gladys. Is it in here or? Yeah, I think it is. Yep. This is Hello. You mind trying to have a moment here? Uh, are you Rosanna Trask? 
Yeah, I was called that once upon a day. You need something? I'm looking for a guy by the name of Rufus Trask. Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Why? Um, I'm on the level you can ask John Lay. You're telling me you're on a first name basis with Ms. Tennyson? Yeah. I'm not on the Harlow's <laughs> I'm not one of Harlow's tra the facts. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna take your word for it. Well I'm not and I'm not gonna hurt the guy. Vale. God damn it. That's as much as I know. Please, just make it quick. Can you ask you and Trask split up? That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. Hmm. Um, how much do you know about Harlow? Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. Sounds familiar. He must have been recruiting. Gathering up his band of revolutionaries. Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you something. I don't know, Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with the fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. That's all. Thank Appreciate you. It. No offense, man. Just been a long day, is all. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Let's see. Don't bite the sun. Yep. Those quests have so strange names sometimes. <laughs> we can get uh can figure out what is some of them about. Hello, Granny. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. Yeah, my engine is looking to do some deep cleansing. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a whole makeover kit. And I snagged a couple for myself. High grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them too. No. Oh. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish? Mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? A refurbished ship. Yep. Like grit and grime covered over with cleaner, you mean? Well, that's a smell it means we're really going places. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. Thank you. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. Okay. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Okay, Parvati. Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy because of you. Yeah, so here's your soap. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dust back casserole. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called uh Sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. There's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. Okay. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm, before we get. No, before we get into anything else, we're gonna end this part here. Now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.